don't have a pet overpopulation in New Hampshire? No, we're a no-kill state, truthfully. We don't have a pet overpopulation. Our shelters bring in about 50% of the dogs that they place from other states. Uh, we do have a pit bull problem and we do have a cat problem, but your run-of-the-mill family pet, you know, our shelters are empty. It's a beautiful thing. Miami-Dade County is four times the population of the state of New Hampshire. We've got 1.3 million people and Miami-Dade's at 5.2 million. So you got, they take in 100 dogs a day down here and you know, I mean, and our shelters are empty. So there, it's, it, there's, a, there's a need for it. Uh, New Hampshire is very, very strict. We have a, a slew of guidelines that don't exist anywhere else. And, you know, we, we comply with them. We get inspected twice a year. They call us up when anything happens. But we work with them versus working against them. We have a great spay-neuter program. People, the mentality up there is um, adopt, don't buy from a breeder. You know, if you want a show dog, obviously you go to a breeder, but if you just want a pet, you go to the shelter. And that is the common thread. Um, the, I'm an animal control officer. I can tell you that every stray I have picked up went back to its owner. 50, 60% have some form of identification. Um, the rest of them end up with, okay, I went and picked up the dog and, you know, 15 minutes after I picked the dog up, an owner called and said their dog was missing. And what's the story on this dog? He was a stray. Somebody that people out there found him. He's got a collar, so he might belong to somebody. They may look for him. He's got, um, oh, there we go. He's got a microchip. He's got a chip? He's got a chip. Yay! So, he might get, so maybe his owner will come, which is awesome. My trip down here costs $3,200. That's, that's what the trip costs between paying for my van, my insurance, paying me because this is the only job I have and I don't make a lot of money doing it, paying for gas, paying for anything we need. Um, the Animal Rescue Network and my groups pretty much split the cost. So it comes right out of our pockets. We do get some grant money, and we get uh, we have you know our adoption fees. We do a lot of fundraising on our own. Um, we we get uh, probably four, five, six grants a year. Petco, the ASPCA, the Rottweiler Rescue Foundation gives us two grants every year. These are donations. We have a food bank, an animal rescue food bank up north, and. I go and I fill up the van and bring them down to the foster homes here and a whole bunch of them to Eddie because he feeds dogs too. <laughs> I get introduced to her by uh, Lisa. Lisa, who's a rotty person. Yes, who's a wonderful person. Yeah. And now what dogs are you taking today from Eddie? What dogs are you rescuing today? The puppies. All, all the puppies. puppies. And all, the puppies. all those puppies are going into foster homes locally down here. And they'll be spayed and neutered and then go on the October transport. Okay. And Eddie, can you tell us about the tell the puppies? Tell them puppies. about the puppies. They're the puppies that uh, we found abandoned uh, a few days ago. Uh, along with uh, two more, which are some, uh, I think they're Russell Mix, Russell Red Terrier Mix. I also found by Chiquita in the uh, Everglades Park. Okay. And those, those dogs are going back up with you in October? And first week of October. Uh, and, and the Animal Rescue Network is placing all of those puppies. And they, they've already got, we've already got some pictures going, so they're already circulating the pictures and they'll start taking applications probably next week. Facebook under For the Love of Dog. Um, we have a very cute Rottweiler with a rainbow-colored clown outfit as our little icon. So if you get there and you see that, you'll know it's us. The rescue, the website is the number four, T-H-E-L-O-V-E-O-F-D-O-G.org. The Animal Rescue Network is also on Facebook and they have a website as well. And, you know, I, I don't want to take any, uh, any limelight away from them. They do, they take all kinds of mixed breeds out of this shelter. Go dogs! <laughs> Go dogs.
Thanks, it takes Eddie. a lot of people to it do does. this. Please it join us. Right. Please join us. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. That's right. That's